Prior to OTC, um, I was just uh, divorced, a recently divorced um, mother of three. I just, I had to get a job. I had to find something to do. And so uh, I started uh, working at Walmart overnights, um, stocking shelves. And I also had to do um, house cleanings and office building cleanings on the evenings and weekends, you know, to help make up for the lack of um, money there. My mom was probably my biggest advocate there. She was living across the street at the time, and um, she stayed with my kids at night when I was sleeping, I mean, when I was working, and, um, and then, I mean, I just, I couldn't have done it without her. After my divorce, um, I was sitting at my mom's house one evening, and um, the commercials came on for OTC, and all these things were scrolling, and then I saw dental hygiene, and I sat up and I looked at the screen, and I was like, is that right? That's something that I could, you know, go back to school for and not have to keep working at Walmart overnights. You know, um, I came actually to the school to find out, you know, get more information on it. And um, I walked out um, of OTC scheduled for classes, which was not even my plan. It was very difficult. Um, I worked um, five days a week. I had to work 40 hours at Walmart and they were five days straight. Um, I worked from 10 at night to seven in the morning. And then I would, uh, my mom would bring my kids to Walmart. I would take them to school, and then I would come here to OTC, and I would go to my classes here. I averaged three hours of sleep a day, and that was that was my. It was I slept from six o'clock in the evening to um, nine o'clock. She was my strongest support, and when uh, she was diagnosed, it was uh, it was tough. Um, the uh, journey of going to school and working and caring for the three kids just became a lot harder. When she passed away um, November um, 20th of uh, 2011, right before Thanksgiving, um, I was thankful for her that her struggle had ended, but then I knew that um, a different journey for me and my kids was headed, you know, was going to be different. It was just going to be different. I was so close, so close to finishing, and um, the instructors, the director here, my classmates, everybody was so encouraging. It just, it, it, I couldn't have done it without the encouragement from the people here at the dental hygiene program. I lost my mom, but I gained a whole bunch of other people, you know, in my life and in my kids' life. I walked across that stage and I just looked up and I said, we did it, Mom. We did it. I got through it. Just to have a job that I go to and I love it, say, hey, I want to get up and go to work because I like what I do. Doing really well. Life is completely different. Uh, just past, in the past five months, on April 24th, um, the day my mom got diagnosed, uh, we got married, and so I've been married about five months. It can be done. If you put your heart and mind to it, it can be done.